It's her house. Her house is all lit up. <laughs> She's been thrown in jail for... Maybe this is a wake-up call? Witchy? How you doing? Honestly, I cannot believe that I'm sitting here about to tell you another crazy freaking story about my neighbor. I I cannot believe it. For those of you that have no idea what I'm talking about, I documented the madness that happened on Friday on my Instagram story with my neighbor, the witch. There's helicopters circling above the witch's house. You see, it's like lit lighting up her place. This is craziness. It's so creepy. These officers coming around with guns. The house is all lit up. <laughs> oh. I am scared. I have said many times that I don't think there's gonna be much more to the story, so like, sorry guys, but you know, this is it. And it just never is it. It's never the end. For those of you that are new here and have no idea what I'm talking about at all, I have a crazy neighbor. Like, I don't I don't believe she's even real. She can't be real. I'm gonna have like a little eye pop up on the screen. I think it's over here. Uh, that will lead you to the first video of this situation because it just keeps growing and expanding and it's insane. I lived in downtown LA for five years. Never never had any weird situation happen to me. Like my life was so boring. And then I moved to like a little quiet neighborhood on the west side and my life is insane. Okay, let's just jump into what happened on Friday. Make sure you subscribe to my channel to make sure you don't miss out because I know there's gonna be something crazy happening when I end up getting the fence built. So definitely subscribe. Yeah, Friday. I'm just chilling, had the most exhausting work week and I was so excited just like have a nice night on my couch relaxing. If I'm being honest, I feel pretty drained right now like just tired i'm just so excited to relax tonight of course my night did not go according to that plan i'm sitting at my living room table and i'm just getting some work done it's around like six o'clock and all of a sudden i see these like lights on my curtains and it looked like an alien abduction that's the best way i could put it into words because i didn't know what was going on so i just kept seeing these lights go by and it was creepy and i could hear something but i didn't really know what it was because i just wasn't in the headspace of thinking oh my night's gonna be insane i eventually go look outside i open my patio door and uh i hear a helicopter and i see lights flashing on the witch's house like her whole house was lit the fuck up like straight out of like a crime television show it was all lit up and i was just like oh my god what is going on so i made like multiple instagram stories i didn't post any of these but i was just like there's lights about the witch's house so i was just kind of making a joke out of it thinking like oh no like there's no way but then as it kind of progressed i ended up making a real instagram story when i realized yeah that's actually what's happening like i don't really know what's going on but i can say that there are helicopters circling above uh our favorite neighbor's house and mine and i'm slightly horrified this has been going on for 30 minutes and the helicopter is lower than I've ever seen a helicopter ever. And there are police officers everywhere. And I'm alone and scared. So I'm like running up and down the stairs. I'm trying to see where the best view is, obviously. I'm here for the entertainment at this point. Just like so confused. Like what, what is happening with the old woman across? across the way. So I'm calling my boyfriend like, where are you? Get home, I need you, I'm scared, I don't know what's going on. And my neighbors are calling me be like, I hope you lock the doors. Like if you if you feel uncomfortable, just come and come to our unit. We can stay here for as long as this goes on. And I was just like, what is going on? Like if my neighbors are telling me like, hey, if you want, you can come up here. I'm like, this has gotta be serious. So obviously I really appreciated that. And I was just like waiting for Taylor to get back here. Cause I was like, I don't know, I, I must be fine. <laughs> so we eventually get here. And as soon as he got here, you could hear the helicopter speaker or something they're like, I don't know, it was all insane. So as soon as he got here, we heard that and we were like, holy crap, and it was loud. So with my condo community, there are three patio units. I have one of them and then I have two other neighbors with the patio units. And I could see at the very far unit, there were police just parked out there with their guns out. Like guns are loaded and out and I was scared. <laughs> See a gun that's very scary oh shit and you could hear like the walkie talkies on the cops over there and i'm just like trying to hear what the heck is going on so my boyfriend being the guy that he is he needed to investigate he wanted to get in the car immediately and drive over to the street where her house is and see what the heck is going on this is madness taylor's what? convinced me oh, crap. he's convinced me to go get in the car and go look. I was like, oh, this seems dangerous. Who knows what the scene is like? I don't know, I didn't want to get shot. I didn't want anything bad to happen. I'm not ready to go yet. But of course, I didn't want to let him go by himself because he was going to come back with all this tea and I needed to have the tea. So I went with him. Okay, so we're in the car. There's a cop car and a girl walking her dog as yeah. if nothing's going on. Casual people. I mean, they were probably out already. What is happening? Oh, they have the whole thing blocked off. Oh, you can't even okay, enter wait, the street. The, the yeah. 
want to see where it is. Oh my god, it's 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 her house. <gasps> it is. All oh, these people right here, standing. Look, babes, left, left, left. Oh. Should we park? And yeah. Look? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not? People are just walking with their dogs, and I was like, okay, this definitely seemed like a very dramatic situation from the helicopter and the guns everywhere. I don't know. It just felt weird that people were just walking with their dogs on like the regular Friday night. That entire street was blocked off by police. There were tons of police cars and police everywhere. And then there was a whole group of like 10 people on the corner looking at the scene. We parked the car like a block away and walk over to the group of people. So we walk up and we could hear them being like, oh my God, it's for sure her, it's for sure her. And I'm like, they can't be talking about the witch. So we kind of like, get our noses in there. And I was like, are you guys talking about the old woman over there? And they're like, oh, crazy lady, yeah. And I was like, you guys know her? And then they all start talking about their experiences with her. <laughs> everyone knows about her. I can't believe it's not just us. Oh my god, everyone's talking about how it's Guaranteed her. Guaranteed they'll just let it come back in a couple weeks. And I gotta tell ya, it felt really good knowing like it's not just me that has had problems with her because I was like, I'm a nice person. I would be nice to my neighbors. This is, I don't know how I ended up in this situation. It's just not me. I've never had problems with people like that. And especially old ladies, like I'm friendly to old people. I don't know. I don't know. Obviously this woman isn't like a regular, I don't know what to call her. We all went around like saying, you know, kind of where we are at in proximity to the crime scene. And so I would say that I live behind her. And every single time I said that, everyone was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. And I was like, yeah. I know. So, with talking to all of the neighbors that all knew her, like every single person referred to her as crazy lady. Like every single one except for one neighbor. One neighbor, it was actually the house that everyone was standing in front of. They came outside and they asked if it was her. They called her by her name. And we were all like, yeah, we think so. Because so you could see that there was another cop car like right in front of her house. So it was pretty obvious that it was her house. And I was like, what could she have done? I just couldn't imagine her doing anything to cause a scene like that. So the woman that comes out of her house is like, oh yeah, that woman, she's the witch. And I was like, oh my God, I call her the witch and like I'm not I'm not bragging about the, the fact that I call her a witch It's just funny hearing it from somebody else also call her that because I've only heard people in my building call her that So we were talking to a couple who said that they get yelled at every single time they walk their dog by her place She comes out screaming at them saying you're not allowed to be in front of my place your animals are not welcome here So that's really nice And then the woman that came out of her house actually said she calls the police on people that let their dogs <laughs> pee on these street lights. Like, you know, just the street lights. If a dog pees on it, she will call the cops. And apparently the reason why she does this is because it's not nice to the architecture of the street. It's damaging to it. So yeah, that's something interesting. Um, I don't think I've ever heard of anyone doing that ever, but sure. Also all day, apparently what she does is she walks back and forth on her street, like a few blocks up and down and writes down the license plate of every single car parked on that street. And if she sees one or like thinks one is a little sus, she will call the police and get it towed saying that it's not allowed to be there. She also has a, <laughs> a what are those cones? Like cones, street cones? Parking cones? I don't know. In front of her house so that no one can park there. And one of the neighbors was saying that every time he sees that, he just drives right over them because it's ridiculous. And the best part was learning that her next door neighbors all have restraining orders against her. All of them. Or I, I guess not all because I don't really know how many. But, but from what I gathered, it was like at least two or three people. Literally every single person that we were standing with was talking about how she needs to be in some kind of mental health, mental care home. Like it's just, she should not be alone in this house. Every single person said it. Like said that she was literally insane. And no one had any remorse for her either. Which I found it was interesting because a lot of people on the internet have been telling me that I need to be more sensitive to it. And obviously she's just an old sick woman, whatever. Not one person person that had experiences with her over I don't even know how many years one of them said that that she had been there just as long as the witch had been there so she's experienced her for over 40 years saying that from the get-go she has had a miserable experience just living around this woman that she can't even imagine what it must be like living behind her so yes the neighbors have restraining orders which I think says a lot so basically everyone is standing outside waiting to see her in the back of a cop car and once I heard all this stuff I was like ready to see her in handcuffs too I was like ready I was like take her away put her somewhere where she can be helped better because obviously things are not going well there so we're all just kind of talking and making friends with each other with this mutual crazy woman we all have in common and this one neighbor goes oh man I can't wait to see her locked up again. And I said, again? She's been thrown in jail for really? uh, screwing up her next What? Door. Yeah, really? her next door neighbors had camera on her flooding this. She goes to jail because she doesn't want to pay for any of like the fees 
for stuff so she'll just go do her time which is also insane because she has money it's not like she you know like is struggling by any means she has a very brand new mercedes in the in the garage which is just so interesting yeah so she just chooses to go to jail i don't know i wouldn't be my choice but the last time she went so i know about the last two times one of the times was trespassing on her neighbor's property who had a restraining order so they saw her and they called the cops and took her away and she was gone for two weeks and then the other time this other neighbor she was trespassing once again this is a different house though and she decided it'd be fun or i don't know what the, the mindset was but i do know that she flooded the neighbor's backyard took a hose and flooded it she went in like the middle of the night when everyone was sleeping and of course the neighbors had cameras so they had her like recorded and so they just went to the cops and they took her away again no they were in jail for like two weeks what yeah, and, you know she's back to uh, trying to get rid of her i mean that's just psychotic it's psychotic and apparently some of the neighbors have called many times and the cops are just like yeah like we know about her i don't know how her being in jail multiple times isn't a sign to the cops maybe like put her somewhere not in a home around other people where she is damaging people's property <laughs> yeah so learned all that stuff learned about all of her lawsuits that people have against her this woman is living such a life i it's just sad honestly like there's just so many better things that she could have done with her life than to obsess over people in the neighborhood like it's it's insane and obviously i told you guys on my vlog channel that the president of the hoa of my building he's been going over there just to make sure the fence is still a go and everyone's on the same page she had fully agreed to it saying like this is cool as long as i don't have to pay for it and then she ends up leaving hoa president a voicemail saying actually no you know i'm not gonna be okay with this i don't trust her me and I would just rather ignore her. The logic is not there. She would rather just choose to ignore me as best she can, but doesn't want a fence where she could completely block me out. No, obviously she just wants to keep looking. She wants to keep watching. In her head, maybe she thinks she's doing a good thing for the neighborhood, like being neighborhood watch all on her own, but it's like, it's, it's definitely taken way out of hand. I don't think she has bad intentions when she does this stuff. I think she thinks she's doing the right thing. I don't know, I, I, I can't even imagine her thought process and her mindset behind any of this because none of it makes sense. So back to Friday night, we're all outside chit-chatting about her. One of the police officers comes over to all of us and asks if there's a bathroom for the woman whose house was broken into. Immediately, everyone starts asking her, was it the old lady, was it the old lady? And the cop was like, oh no, actually it, it's not her. Which was funny because the police officer had like a bit of a giggle when she said that because like I think everyone just knows who it is. So as soon as we found out that it wasn't the witch's house, it was the people right next door, everyone left. One of the neighbors, he was like, I guess we can all leave now. Like it's not her. So we should all get safe inside. And so everyone started leaving because we weren't about to watch her leave in the back of the cop car. I just, I could not believe that everyone was talking this way and everyone was ready to see her. And as soon as we found out it wasn't her, no one cared. Like everyone was purely there because they assumed it was her and wanted to see her out. I have never seen anything like it. I've never seen more people come together over something like this. It ended up being a woman whose house was broken into and the guy who broke in had a gun and he was kind of hiding in, I think a shed in the backyard. So there were police on our patios and also in the witch's backyard. So my boyfriend and I came back here and we were watching from my upstairs balcony. We could see the police in the back of her backyard. And there was one point where the police officer came knocking on her door, on her back door, and she wouldn't let the cop inside. She kept being like, no, no, no. And I could like, how do you say no to a police officer? And it was a woman police officer in the back too. So it's not like she could have been, you know, worried about stuff. I mean, I guess you could still be worried, but there's less of that fear, at least for me. I don't know. Yeah, she didn't end up letting her in. <laughs> so we just watched her watching everything and it, it was... It was insane. The helicopters were there for like a good three hours. And then as soon as the helicopters left, everything went completely black. It was actually really scary, like not a single light out. I guess the police maybe went around saying to turn all the lights off or something, but it was, it was black, like an apocalypse. I don't know what ended up happening afterwards. I just know I, I tried to have a chill Friday night after that. And yeah, so that's my number. So that is, the story, that's what happened. It was so crazy to be experiencing and learning that she had been in jail really made me feel better, you know? Knowing it wasn't just about me and I was causing her issues or something, knowing that she's actually like this to everyone, I, I don't know. I guess to end this off, slight update on the fence, just waiting for my contractor to be done with the project she's been doing the last couple weeks and then that fence is going up. But I do expect there to be issues with it going up because no way is she just gonna like sit there and watch it happen. She's gonna do something, but 
the HOA president did go over there with documents saying it's not even her land, so she doesn't really have a choice. But if she wants, she can make it easier for everyone and she can keep the extra land, which is actually an easement, or she can, you know, make it difficult. And then we're just gonna take that land back up to her. So we'll see which way she goes. I will, of course, film it all. It's been madness. It's just been madness. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed learning more about our favorite friend. Make sure to follow me on my socials if you want to be up to date before YouTube gets up to date. So yeah, that's about it. I will see you guys next Tuesday with another video.